The greatest mistake you can make is mixing things in your celery juice. It's critical you don't mix water, ice cubes, lemon, lime, other fruits and vegetables, collagen, apple cider vinegar, charcoal, protein powders, or anything in your celery juice. This is how it works. When you add those things in, you dilute the chemical compounds. So when you drink your celery juice, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. I was suffering with like really difficult digestive problems like constipation, lots of gas and bloating. Celery juice is the newest thing out there. Um, medical medium said this is the stuff cures everything. I started noticing my body coming back to life right away. When you drink 16 ounces of celery juice on an empty stomach, that's where the magic is. That's where the miracle powers are. It enters into your gastric glands. It rebuilds them so they can produce hydrochloric acid to break down proteins so proteins don't rot in your gut. And then it goes into your small intestinal tract where it runs into food that you might have in there from the dinner before. Then it has to kill off pathogens, bacteria, viruses, yeast mold, unproductive fungus. Then it travels down and has to eventually get into the liver through the hepatic portal vein. Once it's in your liver, it builds up your bile reserves, helping to improve your digestion by breaking down fats. Then after that, it heads to the gallbladder and starts to dissolve the gallstones. And that's why it has to be at least 16 ounces to have enough liquid to get through the entire obstacle course that you have in your body so you can heal and move forward. One of the first things that I started doing that I read from his book was the 16 ounces of celery juice in the morning on an empty stomach. I remember just feeling like, oh yes, this is what I needed, and it instantly clicked for me. The reason why you have to juice celery is because if you leave the pulp or the fiber in there, it won't work. When you leave the fiber and the pulp, you're trapping the medicine, slowing it down, stopping your digestion so you can't get the medicine to work. If you drink tea, you don't don't eat the tea bags. You have to extract the medicine out of it and consume it without the pulp and the fiber. It's the only way it's going to help you heal. 